Welcome back to another episode to DIA, That's It Australia. My name is Tom Story. My name is Tony Remy. And we are covering the hottest trending topics in hip-hop culture and everything going on in Australia. As always, man. Listen, it's not your first time here. Make sure you like, subscribe. If you make you laugh, giggle, and all that good shit. It's not your first time. No, you know what I mean? Go and do that. Hit that button. Smash that button. Yes. Coming up, we have... We have Riri, mm-hmm. pregnant with ASAP Rocky's baby. Finally, we have the news. I'm jealous, my nigga. So am I. I wanted that. Mm-hmm. I wanted that. No, I'm did. sorry. I'm sorry. My girl, my girl is on set. I'm sorry. <laughs> all right. <laughs> all right. We also have Ice Cube and Kanye West. Don't give a fuck Nothing. about the NFT. Nothing. Mm-mm. Candy, what we got? We got Make Meal going to war with Atlantic Records. Oh. Okay. Okay. We got C Blue mm-hmm. going back to jail after two hundred fifty thousand dollar bail. That is nuts. Yeah. That is beyond nuts. Okay, we also because of that, okay. we also have DJ Brewski oh. kind of like banning the drill rap. Done. Kind Nobody. of like I don't want to support it too much beef. All right. That's what we have, all right? Okay. Okay. Yes, sir. Yo. Yeah, we back, we back, man. Yo. Yeah, so how you been? How's your week? Man, my week has been busy. I mean, I've been uh, I mean, chilling, trying to keep my workouts going. I got my uh, my room set up. I'm like a straight up crazy person with a gym hole set up in my room, you know, but getting it in. Getting, getting brolic in, in the room. Hey, what about you, man? What's been going on? I'm just chilling, man. Bro, Not chilling? much crazy. I thought you'd be upset because I've been upset. Why? Why are you so mad? What are you talking about, man? We just pregnant. Oh, oh shit. Yeah. Don't A$AP get me been, started. A$AP What's up this week? <laughs> I didn't get with the one, Dude. two, three. One, two, three. Hey, what's, what's up, up this what? week? What's up, got it. He did it. He won. He put the flag down. He said, mine. Listen, sir. Let mm. me shake your hand. <laughs> All right. <laughs> Congratulations. Yeah. Right now, Send Drake is pissed. Dude, Drake's on his phone like this, looking at the photo. <laughs> He went to the studio ASAP. Bro, Marvin's room. You know what I mean? yeah. He's back. <laughs> He's back. Yo, ASAP's room now. You heard the rumor that he unfollowed both of them? Really? Yeah, I would too. I don't though. know. Cloud hey, Babies. Man. We be making hey, shit up out here. <laughs> man, Cloud Babies. Get me too. Cloud Babies. I don't know, man. I don't Damn, know if it's man. true, but the rumors is out there that he unfollowed Riri and wow. ASAP, man. But I'm wow. proud of it. Yeah, well, okay, you got to do what you got to do. You don't want to deal with that stress and anxiety of having to look at your girl, your former girl, you know. I they mean, were never dating, though. You don't think so? Drake has dated pretty much everybody. In nah. Hip-hop. Come on, man. This is really what we talking ones. about, Dude, though, son. Drake even smashed Julia Fox. We, I mean, we know this. She's saying that it wasn't Allegedly. Let's Alleg- allege. Okay. Tasha Kate, listen, Cardi B. <laughs> <laughs> For the record. Got for all those keywords For the record. <laughs> yeah, Allegedly. Yeah, yeah. But, you know, so mm-hmm. it's like Drake's been around. He's done that. There was a long time. I don't think he smashed Drake, bro. Come on, he puts I'm it not, in I'm the not songs. Watching. You don't is that, think is that a term? Cock I, watching? <laughs> you just coined it. It's new. Just, That's a shirt. I'm not, I'm not watching my, another Actually, man no, pause, do Pause, pause, yeah. pause, pause. Hold on. That's what I'm saying. Pause. Time out. Time hey, out. Hey. Time babies. Hey, <laughs> hold on. Hold on, uh, man. Hold on, hold on. But, um, oh, shit. But seriously, though, mm. you, you'd want to not look at that. You know, I'm trying to see that every day. Plus, that's going to be everywhere. Because, look, that's the one so thing about is. Riri. I was going to say this. We were having this conversation before this. You got to give her the, the queenship now. Queen B got to hand it over. Yeah. It's Queen Re. She's Queen officially Re. the head of all females in the world. Yeah. Anybody, I agree. Yeah, I agree. Anybody on it, you know? I like Beyonce. I love Beyonce. Everybody loves Beyonce. But, but it's I time. love It's time Rie. to give it up. Yeah, it's yeah, time to give yeah, it up. Yeah. Riri's now the queen. Now she's she the has, queen. You know, everyone's going wait. Because she was saying that she didn't want to have a child, right? She was like, mm, I'm, mm. I'm good. Mm-hmm. This is it. It's the moment. The yeah. whole world knows now, you know. Like how old is she? Thirty four. So I'm like, how old is Riri? I'm not sure. We Google you know? that. We gotta know that actually. But yeah. I'm saying though, right? Like, as if you were Drake or any man, you're gonna feel like, damn, I wish that was me. You know what I mean? I know Chris is kind of pissed too. I know Chris still kind of wanted Ooh, that. Man, Chris is in trouble again. Allegedly, yeah. allegedly. Man. Yeah, but that's that's all clout chasing. You think so? Yeah. Yeah, actually, this time he's about to drop something dope. True. Yeah. Hey, man, oh. that's that's another thing. What we talking about, right? You ha- you almost want an inflammatory story to come out so you can promote your shit. So you that's why like, death is is so. Oh man, that's marketable. Yeah, yeah, it's that's crazy, up, right? Yeah. So yeah. stupid, but um, yeah, man. Yeah, Riri, that's. What do you think? I'm, f- I'm focusing on. Well, I'm happy, of course. Obviously, yeah. I'm happy for both of them, yes. and hopefully, they have like a good health 
throughout the trimester all of the like pregnancy and, and all yeah. this craziness. Yes, you know what I mean? Because that's kind of hard. Mm-hmm. Um, I'm saying it like I'm a freaking, <laughs> 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 like I'm a woman or something, but no, like but I'm a dad, so yeah, I understand there that. Go. There you go. That part. So I'm proud of both of them. Yeah, I haven't been Hopefully, I just hope they stick it together it's because of the celebrity, every little yeah, thing. That's like, it. you know what I mean? So how, hopefully, the relationship yeah. just like carry on forever yeah. kind of like on some jay-z beyonce type shit you would hope so black love you mm-hmm. know hopefully mm-hmm. it stays together they're under the scrutiny of the whole microscope of pop culture mm-hmm. i wonder though like next is the wedding yeah can you imagine what's yeah, gonna happen that's it everything mm-hmm. they, they they do traditionally that's if they want to yeah. keep on fucking around with that like yeah because you don't know what their religion they could just probably awesome. get married already you never know you might just go to the courthouse and be like Sign the paper. Let's go. Mm, you know? She's from Barbados, so they kind of strict with like. Oh, that's yeah, true. Yeah, yeah, that's so. a cold. You gotta have a whole fam there. You gotta have relatives. Everybody, everybody. Yeah. You gotta celebrate. And Drake will be right. hating still. Yeah. But this song is coming soon. There's gonna be getting, some subliminal shots out there. Bro. You think he's getting an invite to the wedding? Uh, cloud babies. <laughs> <laughs> I told you, he's part of the cloud babies. I know you're part of the cloud babies. And Elevator we'll babies, listen, yeah. man, you gotta help. <laughs> gotta the relationship back, must prosper. Back. Scare me back to the righteous path. Yeah, no, no, no. I'm with the bullshit. I'm with the bullshit, 100. Yeah. percent um, I'm there commenting with yeah, a ghost no, no. Profile. He'll be pissed. He'll be pissed. There's gonna be some subliminal this out there. Yeah, I mean, mm. a song is coming, and you know what? With Drake. Mm-hmm. It's gonna be good. It's number one. We're all gonna be playing it. <laughs> it's gonna be number one. Not knowing it's about Riri. Dude, it, we gonna so know. So now Riri's not gonna drop any type of music now because she's. Well, this is the thing. It goes one of two ways. Mm. Either takes a minute, she's gonna have a child, she's gonna mm-hmm. be with a child, but now the music's gonna come after that. It's gonna probably be, what, be wild. It's gonna be amazing. Suppose you never know. It's not. That's a, that's but she's a queen. She, she can't do it wrong. Yeah, she, she can't do it wrong. She's got her business. She's got Fenty. She got like the whole makeup like line, which is killing it i'm sure yeah I'm she's sure. a billionaire yeah. now what's up does that mean asap is a billionaire yeah he shot up the club hey man if they ever break up i bet he's gonna be in court like hey what's <laughs> half? i want half who would have did the prenup that's a good question would we we hit him up with the prenup like listen nigga yeah you came here with a few hundred mils yeah that's silly money that's silly money you ain't coming you to ain't coming shit. here with no. a billy no you know Rihanna's what i mean team, yeah, but he team. shot up the club so he he's entitled to half yeah of a billy yo that's a lot he might do it just for the money right i here. think that's why he did it <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> that's a bank robbery all oh, right man. that's a heist that's a heist right now that's a heist but that's a double that's a double-edged sword like you he's good like he's high if he's doing that i mean still smashing rihanna's same time it's like smashing um yeah. oprah but oh. no no it's kind of <laughs> different because oprah is not attractive like that yeah what? but people will smash it for the bread i would take a hit for i would do i would go you feel it. me yeah, if i was gonna get some money yeah yeah, I'll be like uh, Billy, like, I'll be a like Billy. Step for number two. I'll be step for number two. Come yep. on, son. Yeah, I'll even put my great. I don't wherever she likes. I'll put a one mustache. She likes just a mustache. I'm with I'll it. I'll do that. I'm with it. I'll do it. What you got for me, Katie? Yeah. <laughs> so she's worth one point seven billion. Billion. Ooh. Oh. Estimated. Mm-hmm. Hey. And guess how old? Thirty-four. Was that right? She's thirty-three. 33 wow a billionaire 33 and just running shit like just had a baby a billionaire baby got businesses the baby's gonna be evil yo that's gonna be an evil baby that's another thing those are those pixar characters (laughs) this is what i'm talking about cloud babies this is how the pixar characters start the evil baby that had it all with all the technology and all the money (laughs) and then just piss about the world you know what i mean yeah not getting enough attention she's like bruce wayne a little bruce wayne (laughs) Hey, but Bruce Wayne turned out to be Batman, so that's not a bad thing. He's saving yeah, the world. but he's touching Robin, allegedly. <laughs> <laughs> Cloud Baby, stop him, please. Cloud Baby, stop him. He's talking about Batman of all people. God. All right, he got the Batman. He's a mo- I mean, just, <laughs> All right, wait, hold on, hold on. All right, time out. Time, time out. out, time out. But, you know, yeah. for reals, though, like, I just feel like she's just going to run shit, and that baby is not just going to be... I might, she might be the most talented baby that's ever existed. It might just come out and start with an Does album. Does it though? Yeah, come out straight with an album. You never promoting know. Promoting. On Instagram, TikToking. Yeah. Out the crib. That's going to be. You know what I mean? Yeah, that's going to be it. <laughs> that's going to be it. For sure. 30, 33 billionaire. Mm, that's incredible. Yeah. Kudos to her. Congratulations. I hope yeah. everything Respect. goes smoothly. Hip hop coaches all behind you. You know, every girl and every man can't is jealous. Wrong. You know, like, can't do wrong. Everyone's just hoping for the best, you know. ASAP, you better don't fuck this up because there's gonna be a gazillion. 
Oh, you're gonna be straight on Kamal. Clout babies like yeah. me, that's ready. Yeah, if he fucks up. I know I have a girl in all, but my girl is all right with it. <laughs> hey, man, I'm hey, single. It's, it's free me. Hey, 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 you know what I mean? I'm gonna step right in there. No, no hey, you I'm cock blocking hard. Cock yeah, yeah. Uh, I'm taking that. I'm taking it. I'm it's taking free it. Me. <laughs> We're all right now disappointed. I'm that's try. it. What else we have today? Bro. What else we got? We got Ice Cube, like you said, and Kanye. Not fucking with NFTs, man. The How you feel about that? Look, man. Okay. You know, there's mixed emotions about this NFTs, mm-hmm. right? You don't know what's going on. It's up in the air, but mm-hmm. people are making money. It's to do with art and stuff like that. When I look at it now, yeah. Okay, it is the future in terms of putting value into something and then collectively people decide and goes, yep, that's worth it. This mm-hmm. painting for less. If it was digitized, you're like, yo. This is worth this much. Use this as an avatar or whatever. Mm-hmm, it's mm-hmm. like it's a Cardi. But <coughs> at the end of the day, though, like it's still up in the air. Like you don't know if you're going to make money or not. So I guess I get why Ice Cube and Kanye are like, I don't want to mess with this until it's tangible, until I know it's here to stay. Mm-hmm. It's not going away. You know what I mean? Yeah. So I think that's probably it. I don't know. How do you feel about it, bro? What's your NFT stuff? I think it's a big mistake. Like uh-huh. I'm trying to use my word. You're an opportunist. You know what I mean? Yeah, I'm just trying to see exactly how I could explain it to the clout babies. Because Kanye is saying, I I don't think Kanye understand NFT yet. Mm -hmm. The same way people did not understand the internet when it just started. All that Bitcoin and all that investment is like crazy. People still do not understand Bitcoins and everything like that. So I'm going to explain the NFT part out of it. So I think that was an ignorant thing to say as far as like, especially with Ice Cube. The The thing started with Ice Cube is one guy on twitter was like yeah. find like some old school classic album covers uh-huh. and then he was like oh man those are dope i wish i could get those in nft oh. and ice cube was like man don't don't mess with me in nft i don't want to deal with this bs da, da, da. Yeah. same thing kind of like with yeah. kanye it's kind of like a rant i don't think they understand the value mm-hmm. of NS- nft yeah so clout baby is pretty much right nft is if you make a classic piece of art right you could add more to that piece of art and then sell it Mm -hmm. it's kind of like a collectible item Mm. so now Mm -hmm. i paint cardi b here right this is the first that would be like the original painting which i have right now on top of that painting i could put a different layer on top of it and make her wear like a hat or uh, put oh, a different a, layer of like her wearing glasses. Oh, you're talking about if you were going to sell NFTs. If I was going to yeah, sell yeah. NFTs. Yeah. So pretty much that's how it's value. Like, right. You know what I mean? So now I'm selling like, yeah. all right, you just want the one with the yeah. glasses. Yeah. But that and, value, right, is from them trying to put it as their profile pics, their mm-hmm, avatars. Mm-hmm. They want to like, it's like a flex. Exactly. For young people, they're like, look at my NFT. This mm-hmm. is, you know, it's like. It's like my Monet, my, right? my, like my old paintings. Like, you know what I mean? Yes. 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 Exactly. So. Mm-hmm. Like so, my Basquiat, like I have a Basquiat, like, you yeah, know what I mean? That, yes. Those are expensive, old mm-hmm. classic paintings. But back then it was paint, like brushes, but now it's digital yeah. work. So I think it's ignorant of what, what they said because they do not understand it. I agree. You know what I mean? Yeah. Because if they understood what was happening in the NFT world, which is right now, is just crazy. Blowing up, trillionaire thugs and all that, blowing up. Yeah, I got my, one of my boys went in early. Thomas, mm-hmm. Wet, Thomas Wetto. He, shout out that's, that's our really, photographer yeah, by the way too man he's, he's filmed my video but like he's in it you know and watching the movement grow i'm like mm-hmm. i'm supporting him like yeah get it you know get what it I mean? that's a good investment but to your point right ice cube kanye mm-hmm. not understanding the full extent of what's going on with nfts that's like almost it shows me that they are the old guard they'll okay, eventually okay, get okay, into it maybe yeah like but the thing is it's just like you know when you're like established and you, if you've been in the scene for a long time, you're you're pretty much want to be against whatever's coming in that's new. You know what I mean? Yeah. So for them, it's like this is this new shit that's going on. Get that shit away from me. Get that shit like get mumble rap. Get, you know whatever. It's like they're just against it because you know they're not. Again, it's ignorance because they're just a little bit older. They do not understand. They're just a little it. bit older now. Yeah. A little bit. Older. It's like back then, if you had an opportunity to invest in Google. Oh, for yeah. only like five bucks yeah, a share or two yeah. bucks a share. Yep. Can you imagine if you did that? With just, if you had a thousand dollars, like for example, NFTs, right guys? If you have a thousand dollars right now, what I do suggest is you would invest that one thousand dollars on some NFTs. You go, you do your research, mm-hmm. right? And then buy like a couple of pictures for like two hundred dollars or something like that and just sit on it because you never know you, you never might know, hit the just that 250 bucks or that 200 mm-hmm. bucks could turn out to be a you're couple right. of you're million right. you're right but i do have one like pushback on this like concept and mm-hmm. it's something that's been playing in my mind for a little bit 
it's just where do you put the value for like the creativity the value for that work and that art right so like depending it doesn't have to be crazy mm -hmm. but it's more like i just want <coughs> you know there to be worth and the, the effort that goes whatever it is like so i just art still needs to be art like i'm not mm -hmm. gonna pay money out the wazoo you know, for like a blank screen and a stick figure that mm -hmm. I can draw because I can only draw stick figures, by the way. That's the only thing I can draw. So, yeah, kudos to all you artistic people. I, I, I make music, you make music, and you, you're artistically gifted as well. I'm not. Thank you. But mm -hmm. for NFTs, I'm like, I still need to see this artistic fruition from, your, from you. You know, I need mm -hmm. to see the worth in that. And then hopefully that drives the price equally. You well, know? what you also got to understand, the NFT doesn't also have to be the, digitally mm -hmm. um be a artwork right you could still buy this mm -hmm. as an nft oh but i give you a token as an nft you buy as an nft oh. you understand oh okay oh. yeah you could technically turn all anything to an nft oh, you know shit. what i mean you could have it because eventually NFT. yeah that's what i'm saying eventually oh, kind of like shit. with like bitcoin you're gonna have to buy stuff online and stuff like that. that's what i'm saying like Dang. You you in a world now, kind of like with metaverse, everything is token. You go to V Box and buying V Box for yeah, for man. for your games, like you know what I mean. So right. So now you could still buy this painting because it's the original. Yeah. You take a picture of it and be like, look, I have the original painting. Now people is like, yo, this dude have the original painting. I'll send you da 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 for it. Mm -hmm. Now you have to figure it out how you're gonna send it to Canada or Austria or wherever. Yeah. It's all about who okay. have the original. Okay. So like, you know, it, it can apply to many things and... People do not understand that though. So they think it's just the digital art right. form of it. Now it's popping, but mm -hmm. with the art form, the only way you could tell why something is valued, like as far as making money with art, mm -hmm. is through time. Yeah. You think Van Gogh would be like, oh yeah, I'm drawing this, this is going to cost a million bucks? Hell freaking Hell no. no, you're right. You're right. You Through know what art, I mean? Yeah. Now... If something happened like I died or something, I did something yeah. that's just crazy, yeah. right? All those paintings is going to go off. A hundred percent. You know what I mean? We're making money, I'm that's sorry. That's what it you is. But on, now, yeah, yeah, now, like <laughs> yeah. I could be like, I'm, I'll sell you this for like 500 or yeah. grand or whatever. Wow. But this, within this, a year or two, it might mm -hmm. double. Like Bush, President Bush, ex-president. Yeah. You think his paintings are going for like maybe a hundred bucks or 200 Yo. bucks. No, because he was a, a, a president or, you know there's, what I mean? So there's outside variables that are coming into it's effect. This price tag. Yeah. There you go. Yeah. Okay. So you can add worth to things in a multitude of ways mm -hmm. and have it kind of profit you. If you're getting early with this, especially because the movement's jumping now. That's what it is. That's it. what I'm saying. As far as like, it's just like the internet. It's like the boom yeah. of like YouTube or yeah. stuff like that. If you had the opportunity to be like, look, yeah. if I invest 200 bucks now, because within yeah. 10 years from now, it's not going to be that price. 100%. You know yeah. what I mean? Because you could buy NFTs now for even like a few bucks. Yeah. A few dollars. Yeah. But you know, like you said, though, do your research, find ones that you really fuck with. Some, yeah. You know, something that you can get behind. I think that's another thing where like I was just learning from my boy Ryan. He was telling me about like investing in general mm -hmm. and he was like you got to have that conviction in what you're investing in yeah so if you get well, it's a hit or miss everybody here is talking shit talking about oh yeah i'm yeah. looking at this type of artist because i like it's what you like there's a yeah. certain type of art that you like but look right like trillionaire thugs for instance like they, they're creating this movement they're creating this social media branding mm -hmm. and like shirts and going like doing collabs yeah. and, and like pushing this right i think that's probably and people getting tattoos and it, you know mm -hmm. it's becoming like a supreme-esque you know, business strategy. Yeah. And uh, it's genius. Yeah. It's absolutely genius. So like, I guess if you get artists or NFT artists that are like in that same mindset to, to expand their own, you know, mm -hmm. how they're doing their thing. Cause then you get another guy, like I can't remember what his name was, but he went on, you know, a podcast and he was giving away his own and he became massive as well. Every day he puts out one. So you get artists mm -hmm. that are constantly churning out new ones. Yeah. So yo, you definitely can learn from that. Yeah, definitely. I, I've learned from it to get today. Elevation nation. Look into it too. God damn, NFT. Yeah, you can't make right. a mistake with that. Like, it's no. the future. It's like, it's going to be everywhere. It's, you're already part of the NFT. Yeah. You know what I mean? Because if you already, yeah, you're already part of it. If really? you're playing like 2K, Somebody if you're playing, me. yeah, if you're playing 2K, yeah. right, on, yeah. on, on online, yeah. you're, already, you're already part of the metaverse, right? Yeah. You're Ooh. already playing um, Fortnite online, you're buying V-Box. You're already part of the metaverse oh. and buying the NFTs they and stuff like that. They snuck that in on us, man. Yeah, it's they been there. That that's what I'm us. saying. It's just we like you don't know. realize. Yeah, you don't realize. When you buy like those custom skins and stuff like yeah. that, that's what kind of like an NFT is. Yeah. 
Yo, people don't even think put two would, and two together. They were putting this concept to us for a long for time. For a long time. It's oh, been there. It's man. just now there's a name for it, but people do not understand really how to Yo. explain it. Like, oh my Think god. Think about like, it. You yeah, go like, on V Box, you buy skins, even, you buy this and that. Like mobile phone games, like Clash of yes. Clans, bro. You, yeah, you know, you're putting up money yeah. to get like gems so you can upgrade your that's all your it is. castle. <laughs> yeah, that's <laughs> you know? all it like, is. That's all part of Bitcoin, yo, NFTs, and yo, all of that. Yeah, it's been there. Broken down. We've been drop, in the metaverse, no, guys. Knowledge drop. <laughs> yo. Yes, that's okay. it. All right. So, what else we have? Man, we got Drill Rapper, mm-hmm. C Blue. Yeah, Back that story. in jail, man. Can you tell me about this? Because I know you know a little bit more than me. This is a good story, man. My cloud babies, man. I'm oh. always with the bullshit. That's what we're here for. D-I-A, that's it. I'm worried okay. I'm worried. We're here. What's going on? So, young rapper C. Blue, 17 years old, from the Bronx, right? Mm-hmm. He ended up... The story is he was having a scuffle with the rapper. I mean, with the... With the police oh over he had an illegal gun you don't have scuffles with the police that's a bad idea yeah so he's like a little tussle you know what i mean it's a bad idea a little mm-hmm. shovel match yeah mm-hmm. match you know what i, I mean so he ended up shooting himself and the police right he wow. got arrested Damn, that's a he d- got arrested yeah, right of course he did. so now he got arrested yeah his bond was two hundred and fifty thousand oh, dollars you're that's... not expecting a 17 year old no they, they, they're just like to you, make that no right they did on purpose the thing is now, what? Cloud Babies, he set bail for the 250K. He got it, baby. How? Advance because he just got signed. So he got oh an advance. My God, no, so he no, used dude. the advance. That's not good. <laughs> <laughs> he used the advance to get bailed out. But listen to this. Uh, when he get bailed out, yeah. due to that illegal firearm mm-hmm. that he was getting charged for. Yeah. What about? What? No. Got sent back to jail That's because he's a juvie. He yeah, yeah. He. he yeah. Wow! Yes, so, sir. Wow! So that wasn't what included? happened to the hundred and two fifty k? Like two hundred and fifty k? Do you get that back? No, you ain't getting none of that back. None of that. That's an LB, you, dude. You reckon they did that on purpose? You think that was like a system? Steve plan? Adam is the new mayor of New York. Steve okay. Adam he used to be a policeman. He do not fuck around. Yo, that's like you know what I mean. Some so shrewd business. He was kind of pissed when. When C Blue made bail, so he yeah. was not fucking with that. So, do you think he has something to do with him? Like, all right, put him back to jail. Use that as an excuse because Man, I'm mad. Like, if you were C Blue's lawyer, he had a background before. That's why he even went back to jail. Uh, he had a background. Yeah, he had a rap sheet before. He had a rap sheet before, yeah. and then he got caught for illegal firearm. Yeah, and then now shot a shot cop. A cop. Yeah, mm. you're going to jail. You're going to jail. You, I mean... I don't know what to do anymore, man. That's wild, though. Like, that's wild kids. that... How how did the lawyer, like, not know that that was going to be a part of the case? Or, like, have that... How did... Like, they just had that in the back... Oh, that is true, That's hey. craziness to me. It's craziness. Like, it, it seems like almost collusion going on where they held that evidence back or something. Would you think back. he would have known? The, uh, the lawyer would have to tell him, and then he says, hey, fuck it, I don't want to be in jail. If you have a good lawyer, they probably should have known, right? They probably should know everything known. that's good, that's coming, that all the charges that are possible yeah. with this scenario. Because the lawyer's going to come Felonies. And, yeah, they're going to come yeah. in and say, what did you do? I want to know, know exactly what it is because I'm going to have to defend you. Yeah. So, man, craziness. I can't believe that. You lost the money. And not only that, not just any money, not your built-up savings. You lost the advance on the record deal. That Which you're going to have to pay back anyway. So it's not like, I'm glad you said that. Yeah. So it's the Cloud Baby. So it's not like his money. So it's like me loaning you some money and be like, all right, I need you to do this, 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 and I need it back. So he lost that money. That's, that's gone. Uh-huh. Now, when he go to jail... Which I know for a fact he's gonna go to jail. Steve Adam is not gonna fuck around with him. That's he one and two. He officer. shot up a freaking police officer. You're going to he's jail. seventeen years old. Locked up. You're gonna be locked up. For real. Don't let him out. <laughs> <laughs> for real. So now that set up a whole trend because you heard our next story is you heard about um DJ Brewski. Is is that his name? What's his name? Drew Drewski. Drewski. Yes. yes. This is leading on to the next one, right? The next topic. So, so now he, he do not want to play. He's done with Joe Rap. He's done. He doesn't. So you think that's because of that? 
Yeah, one hundred percent. Maybe. Well, dude, that's the that's the biggest story probably around this topic, especially because he's a drill artist. So it's like, man, and what it's still else? around that area too because Hot ninety seven is in New York. That's yeah. where he work at. Yeah, and then the seventeen year old um, C Blue is from the Bronx, so that's not too far away. So yeah, yeah I know. And people are saying like, okay, what uh, DJ Juicy is just doing this to like satisfy himself and whatever. It's not actually going to make any difference or any movement in terms of stopping this violence. But man, at least something's getting done. I'm Elevation Nation. My Elevation Nation. My elevators out here. You know, we got to stop all this bullshit. All well, this violent bullshit. Like, come on, mm -hmm. listen to an R&B track. <laughs> no, no, but for real, like, okay, rap about that shit. Because look, hip hop comes from the streets, right? Mm -hmm. It comes from telling stories that aren't told in the media. Like, it was able to, like, you were to express yourself in the horrors that you were coming up with, right? Yeah. Cool. Best cool. storytelling will be hip hop and yeah. country music, of and course. And it yeah. was, like, tangible. It was, like, a visceral that's like the big word I'm going to try to use. But, you know, when people, listeners across the world, especially my white people, but you know what I mean? When you're listening to that, you were able to like, no. Right, enough, all right? Enough with, you with the big <laughs> words, all right? When you start saying big words like that, you feel, hey, feel like you're insulting me, man. Hey, man. <laughs> okay, well, so check I this out. Though. First of all, you're throwing too many big words at me, okay? Now, because I don't understand them, I'm going to take them as disrespect. Mm -hmm. Watch your mouth and help me with the sale. A 40 year old version of yeah. Kevin Hart. Oh my God, it's so true. No, I run shit in the shop run. now. <laughs> Enough of the big words. That means you insulted me, right? All right? If I don't understand the big words, that means you insulted me. When I come back, both oh, you get man. clapped. That's classic, classic movie. But go ahead, go ahead. But yeah, like, you know, it's just one of those things where they were able to relate to like that and see what it's like to be in that environment and what it's what they're feeling and going through. So mm. it's power, it was powerful in that message. But now it's at a point, and it was at a point, but it's still going on today, which is kind of crazy where you know, you're still talking about your oppositions, you're still talking your ops, you're still talking about... It's in the name, drill, drill music. True, drilling holes in people, gunshots, yeah. We were looking, that's crazy, you know, that's crazy. So I'm going to read, I'm going to read what... Um, DJ Drewski had to like, he put up a little post kind of like yeah. saying that. I got, I got a little screenshot of it. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. You know, okay, so he was saying... You know, if you make drill music, there are a lot of drill songs without dissing your ops or smoking on your ops. Mm -hmm. Step up your pen game and creativity. No reason why every week someone is getting locked up or killed. Can't change the world, but I can't stop supporting the nonsense. You know, admit it. And then he goes on a little bit more. But yeah, I agree. Yeah, me too. I agree. Me but how too. do you do that with drill rap when it's in the name? It's all about. I think he said it, though. He said, he says, step up your pen game mm -hmm. and your creativity. You can, my view is. What, still sending subliminal shots? Well, it's still beef. No, no, no. Okay, no, no, no. No, no, you, no, no. Not like beef in that terms of like, you can't put any names. You can't, mm -hmm. none of that. You can talk about just your creativity. Find a creative way yeah, yeah, of yeah. doing that. Do and you have your metaphors and play with words and, and, and be that creative person that you can tell that story without being point blank in your face yeah. kind of like telling and then instigating retaliation and violence and stuff like that yeah violence you're gonna have to talk about violence drill you don't talk about violence I'm right so you're saying. going to it's you're going to it's kind of do hard. it in a creative yeah. way not you know i'm gonna shoot yeah. your ass you know yeah. what i mean like yeah, yeah. kind of thing like be be creative like, it's been done though like yeah. it's been done it's been done for a long time that's so true do some do some new shit let's go let's see how, tell that same shit in a new way I believe it was like 2020. There was over 220 rappers died that year. That year, last year I believe it was like something over 150 or something like that. Rappers died. So it's like to exponentially like getting like higher, that. man. Yeah, yeah. So Come on. I think for for a DJ to kind of like stop that whole at least he's putting his foot down movement. somewhere. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And like it's a that's look, big man. in the hip hop community, yeah. to like to help the upcoming. Because like he's killing generations, bro. Man. Like if you think about it, right? If you shoot, if you have beef with somebody, you shoot that person. That means you just cut off a chain of a generation. One hundred percent. You cut off a creative mind. You cut off. But that could have been a president. I could have been a, a doctor. I could have been like, you know yeah, what I mean? Yeah, you got a son. You got a daughter. You got you got a family member. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. Like. Yeah, music is crazy, and you talk a lot of shit. And, mm -hmm. a lot. and this is what, even with the Australian scene, I'm gonna talk to you. That's it, Australia. Like, mm -hmm. there's a lot of stuff I know in, um, you know, in Australian hip hop that kind of follow mirrors the drill scene. Right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. They do. Yeah, right. Yeah. And like, even in terms of like the violent aspect of it, like, look, I get, I actually see a lot of uh, like Australian artists like that are doing more introspective kind of raps about, you know, where that where they're coming from, why yeah. they're feeling that way, which is cool to see, right? Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Instead of just 
violence and stabbing and I dropped you, I'm a curb stomp yeah. you, like all that crazy Nice, shit. cute here, man. Like I mess with the Australian drill, yeah. like scene here and it, it, it's all right. Like for example, it's chilling it, had like a concert yesterday here right, in Brisbane right. yeah. and like I think as far as an artist mm -hmm. with the drill rap and like mm -hmm. his genre on here, like he's killing it. Like yeah. oh, close no. to his name, chilling, chilling it. Chilling it, killing like, it. Yeah, 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 yeah. He, is. So he is. That as far as like, that the drill scene is dope. Yeah. Point blank period. Yeah, me too. I agree. Creativity wise. Yeah. That's like sound, best yeah. sound I've heard since like the Biggie era of like, you know what I mean? That the, that 1997 yeah. when Biggie just came in, we're yeah. like you know the it's whole rap, it's rap raw exactly. It's rap raw. So yeah, that's good. what drill remind me, especially like living here in Australia, especially like being introduced to like chilling in and stuff like that. Yeah. And when you listen to like their wordplay and yeah. like the the energy, yes. and like remind me of Onyx back in the days. Like you know wow, what I mean? Yeah, like he's kind of paying homage to that, huh? Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Yeah. So here is kind of cute. Mm. As far as like, it's not like crazy violence. I mean, there there's no guns here. Yeah, there's stabbings right. and shit. Yeah, like, yeah, at no least, guns, though. like, it's not guns. Like, you know what I mean? That's a cold move. That's the one thing. Like, you know, Australia's got a crazy government, but they, the fact that the guns are gone. That's what I'm saying. Back home, we just talk about like, um, C Blue. Yeah, 17 years old. That's crazy, man. How you end up with a gun? And you shot yourself and somebody <laughs> else. Bro. You know what I mean? So the bro. drill, the drill scene and the like, the atmosphere is completely different. So yes. Yes. I do agree. I think hip hop. Mm -hmm. need to be saved from DJs. I do yeah. think DJs is the one that destroy hip hop in the first place, kill hip hop in the first place. You it's not so? the rappers. Of course. Yeah. You know yeah. what I mean? Payola, pay for play. Mm -hmm. We talk about that already. Mm -hmm. So if yes. it wasn't like, oh yeah, I know you. Yes. Back then it was like, if your music is dope, it's dope. It yeah. doesn't matter. Like it's right. getting played. Like, you really? know what I, I mean? thought there was more politics going on back then. There was then. politics, but your shit had to be fresh. Yeah. You think you Mumble undeniable. Rap was going to pop no, doing no, no. Frank and Tupac and Biggie era? Yeah, you're right. Hell, Frank and no. You're right. Yeah. You think Little B would have survived do, doing Method Man and Red Man era? You're not competing. Hell, Frank and no. no. You think Little Dirk and them? Not, maybe, maybe because as far as like they're they more talented. He's got a really like, cool melody, uh, like melody choice. Incredible. That's what I'm saying. Those choice. type of artists is yeah. different. Yeah, it's different. But like if you're talking about like, you know what I mean? I the, know. I know what you're talking about. Exactly. Yes, the so, bad shit. Yeah. Like it's not going to survive in an era where there was like that's it. pure artistry and like it was art. Every boss flow. meant something. Man, only that. And, the, I mean? and the create, this is what I mean. The creativity in their mm -hmm. flow choice and what they talked about, man, and how they talked about it. You know, that's true. One of my favorite songs. I wish I was a little bit taller. Ooh, I wish I was a baller. I wish yeah. I had a girl. If I did, I would call her. Cloud Babies, you tell me who that is, man. That's old school, man. You know what I mean? That, mm -hmm. I was a baby when I learned that. Hey, now my it. kids, my kids is learning about you know shooting gas, brat, brat, yeah. like. <laughs> yeah, yeah. But anyway, anyway, what else we have next, man? Man, that was uh, DJ Juicy. But hey, man, we going on to come on B. Come on, B. You don't want to hit up B. Meek Mills, dude. Meek Mills. Oh my. Oh, God. do you want to hit him up with the with, under? Come on, B. Yeah, we could hit him up under. Come on, B. Because like he don't be that bullshit. A, yeah, that's what I feel like. It's almost like he's going to war with Atlantic Records. So it's like, mm, come on, B. Let's talk about it. Let's talk about it. Come on, B. Come on, B. Come on, B. No. No. Really? Yes. Wow. Man, we got Meek Mill mm -hmm. going to war with Atlantic Records. So it's like, okay, he is pissed off about him. They're like holding his music. And not letting him put out stuff for nine months after the last release. Mm -hmm. He said he's then making hundreds of million dollars off him, all this kind of He put out a massive statement on Twitter about this. I don't know. Do we have that up? Do we have the, the actual things of what he said? We read it earlier. We don't even have to yeah, go through it. it. Like, there's so many. Speech. Bro, there's yeah. so many spelling mistakes and grammar and all this shit. I was like, yo. <laughs> <Our> babies. Bro. <laughs> I gotta read it. I and love like, it. I so, love it. Yeah. You guys could go and pull that shit up. Yeah, yeah. Go we try, try to read, read it. it. We try to read that shit earlier. Hey, you know what we should do as a drinking game? Get your buddies around, pull that thing up, and then yeah, start reading. Yeah, if you can't, if you make a mistake while reading it, Bad you gotta drink. Bad <laughs> sentences, man. You need <laughs> yeah. If you well, stutter. That's my guy. I love it, Mill. Yeah. But shit, the music is not selling, bro. No, it's I don't not. think it has nothing to do. To be honest with you, I love Mink. You know that, like I'm a, like a, I'm a lyrical. Hate. Yeah, I love me. Love I'm a big okay. Meek Mill fan. Yeah, but the music is not going the way it used to be, or it's not going. I don't like do you think it used to be. Why? Why do you think that's the case? Do you have an idea? Um, branding. He have branding issues. Yo, like Rick Ross have a dope branding. Like he should go back with Rick Ross, right? Is that what you're saying? Like you know, I think he's saying Atlantic kind of like tarnished that relationship. Oh, that's fucked up. That's you it, know what man. I mean. Now he came out from jail. Now he's hanging with a bunch of billionaires. He can't spell. Yeah. He's beefing with like <laughs> Takashi Six Nine. You know what I mean? Yeah, and like yeah. Takashi, dude. Like you letting Takashi trying to stunt you. Yeah, like Daddy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then he's doing like other weird shit. He's lyrical, but like the music is 
not pushing the way he used to there's be. There's more so. lyrics on Twitter than, you know, in, in rants than there is music. Yeah. That's, that's what a problem. I'm saying. That's a problem. So yeah. I think it has something to do with branding. So I think if he could manage to like scratch that Rockefeller, I mean, you can't because that's mm. why he's making that money. Bro, just go back to doing features. Hit up Drake and be like, I need to jump on a track. Let's go. Because, dude, he yeah. killed it. With, like, honestly, I know me it's mostly hard. from his just feature work. And he's, he's cold. When he comes into the verse, he's got that quick stop. Going off. So it's like, yeah. get back to making that kind of music. Get an artist that's popping, a new artist that's popping. I think you know? stay kind of right. Because that street image that he had was perfect with oh, Rick Ross. So? Oh, yeah. Now it's like. You're trying to save the world, like yeah. nigga, don't yeah. give a fuck, man. We cloud babies out there, man. We see, we see, C blue out here trying to shoot himself in a in in in, in um man. in a cop. That's yeah. what we want to rap about. We want to yeah. hear the dumb shit. That's you true. know what I mean? Don't try to educate us. <laughs> hey, man, I'm trying to educate, man. Come on, man. <laughs> we have Nas for that, all right? Oh man, come fuck, on. We have J Cole, Nas, I'm out here and saying Kendrick for that, and man. Shit. I'm trying to educate. Right? Come on, you don't fuck, take this away, man. man. Okay, but look. You know, with Meek Mill, it's the same thing that's going on with other artists. There's a lot of different, even there was another uh, a female artist that wanted out of her contract because, again, they weren't putting out music for her or she wasn't feeling like she didn't have control. So, Stay independent. But if you're going to be independent. There you go right there. This mm -hmm. is the new era. This is the internet, 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 internet. Mm -hmm. This is the NFT era. This is the do it yourself. Mm -hmm. Come up with your own business. Come up with your own brand. Establish yourself in the market and then go from there. Have your own audience built in. I think he's know. scared to do that. Well. He's scared of failure yeah. through the where he's at right now. Bro, he's the already, title he, money that he has. That's true. I think he, if he said like, mm -hmm. all right, F it, Atlantic. I don't need no record deal. I'm going to go independent. Yeah. And then when he's, once he do that and then he realize that the numbers is getting low, mm. he's trying to, it's like going back to scratch. You're trying to find your core, core audience, your yes. core fan. That might take a while. And that's daunting. Exactly. It's on him, for him. Yeah, but stressful. the best move will be, don't, that will do that. Like, I mean, it's going to be, I mean, that would be the best move. He's going to Go independent, to. He's start a to. YouTube channel, start your music and do all of that. Look at but Russ, you, right? Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? Like Russ is doing that thing and he's doing it by himself. Mm -hmm production he's even putting together all the music videos marketing everything and he's eating the fruits from that. that's it so everybody's good branding come. yeah yeah mm -hmm. what you got for me kenny you look like he was gonna tell me something <laughs> no. Yeah, <I> was <laughs> no it's all good it's all good what else do we have today under come on b man come on b we got the city girls mm. you know we gotta we come on b come on city girls stop front man stop capping man stop Nicki capping. minaj don't want to deal with uh, City Girls. No, she doesn't. And, you know, there was a history. Why is that? Oh, no, we know City Girls put out tweets way back when. I don't know, mm -hmm. years ago, right? Mm -hmm. And Nikki was planning to do a song with them. You know, mm -hmm. hitting up their team and being like, yeah, yo. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, how, yo, they're cool. I saw this video. You know, let's let's collab, whatever. But before that happened, they been They were talking out, reckless they were talking on the internet. on the internet, right? Not knowing. So, come on, B. You, you got to... You gotta watch Everybody what does it say. though, man. Everybody talks shit in the internet. Man. I know, That's okay, an but, error. but if you I think she should forgive. I the, think it's deeper than that. You think so? Yeah. Yeah. Maybe it's just like don't wanna don't wanna. But the thing is, right? If I was city girls, you know, I'm an artist that's trying to come up. I would to apologize you. if it wasn't that deep. Yeah, true. Yeah. But even then, like, don't don't cr burn bridges before you even have the opportunity to do things. Son, we cloud I mean? babies, yo. We're burning bridges <laughs> right now by talking no, reckless we build right now. Bridges, we make connections. We yeah, no, but we in the internet world where it's like me too movement. Everybody's yeah. catching films, right? It's you know what views, I mean? You yeah. know how much shit I used to talk about Nikki, but I love Nikki. <laughs> You were out in New York streets talking Son, shit. <laughs> like, me and the homies, yeah. like I told you before, you like we used to know, we used to see Nikki when she had yeah. a flatty, like a flatty yeah, D-Vox. That's, that's what we used wild. to call it, a flatty, <laughs> flatty D-Vox. Like, you know what I mean? Like, flat ass, like she used to go like young, like, you know, you performing. Still smash, though? Uh, yeah, yeah, of course. It's Nikki now, now like, you yeah, know, yeah, back yeah. then, like, yeah. but still, like, that's but crazy. still, like, yeah. I love Nikki, but like, it's still, like, I gotta talk shit. Mm. That's what we do. Fair. So, Cloud you, baby. Cloud baby. baby, you know what I mean. We yeah. talk shit about everybody. Gotta talk shit. All right, but if enough. it's not, if it's not like personal, like yeah. you know what I mean. Like I get it. I, I get make it. fun of Kanye. We all make fun of Kanye. That's true. Actually, yeah, we've been burning bridges for the last couple of episodes. <laughs> Come on, B. Let's but, be real. Yeah. Son. Let's but, be real. Yeah. If Kanye yeah. called me right now, I'm like, on, yo. <laughs> but if I heard like, yo, Kanye fuck with you and stuff like that, but he don't want to work with you because you said that or that, yeah. son. Best believe I'll call this homie right now and be like, yo, man. Listen, the next five. Yes. I'm sorry, Kanye. That's it. Please, please. You're the genius. Mm -hmm. You were right the whole time. That's I it. was wrong. That's me behind you right there, like now that. Now let's mm -hmm. do a song. That's it. 
yeah, that's it. Like, the next five episodes will be straight dedicated to Kanye. Yeah, 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 How much yeah. we love Kanye, yeah, all those Kanye tracks, in the background, those three Kanye paintings. But I get it. ASAP. I get it. You would apologize yeah. straight away You'd if it's not that it. deep. Yeah, like, you running it back. You like rewind. We all talk shit. Sorry. You don't think Nikki talk shit? Yeah. Um, yeah. Come like, on now. You know, but she's yeah. in a position to talk shit now for a while. Like you know, she was talking shit before. Yeah. We all did, especially when Twitter pop off. Yeah. Man. MySpace pop off? Oh yeah, you didn't know the consequences back then. Of course not. You didn't know. You just all the it celebrities out there. when you became a celebrity, they yeah. went back to delete most of their tweets. <laughs> yeah, yeah. It's you would have to. You would have to. Yeah. Oh man, maybe some like, racist comments and <laughs> random <laughs> shit you just put up. You put you know? cracker ass, cracker, 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 You know, even you know, N-word, the N-word, 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 N-word. You know what I mean? Even whack shit. You remember like with Facebook or any MySpace, the stuff you post. You, if you look back, you probably. Want to you know end yourself? <laughs> I like, want to cloud babies. You know what you guys should do to no. make for us? Send us your MySpace yeah, photos. Oh. oh, and things. If you, you put guys up, have yeah. your MySpace photos, yeah. send us your My MySpace photos Dude. so we could we'll we yeah. we'll we put that on the video. Okay, yeah. that's gonna be your shout out. Dude, MySpace was kind of cold. You could put your theme song on the on your page. That is true, but yeah, I wasn't was into cool. music like that yet yeah, though. Like I wasn't making music. Really? I wish I knew that. If oh, I knew man. how to make MySpace music back then, I would have oh, pop off for man. real, for real. Yeah, I listened. That's how I first heard of J. Cole. Really? MySpace. MySpace. No. MySpace. So J. Cole, um, who else? Jeremiah, I think I heard from, from there. And then wow. um, Ace Hood. Ace they Hood. from that era and from yeah. MySpace. Wow. MySpace that is era. Insanity. Wow. Okay. Yeah. So like, that's how I first was introduced to them. Yeah. I mean, they were taking advantage of the very that beginning. That was the social media back the then. The very beginning. Yeah, man. What else do we have? Um, so, oh, yes. What you got? What? The dial. Up a dealer in Sydney. Do you want to tell me about that when once Candy finished set up and everything like that? So oh. you could dial up a dealer in Sydney. Listen, guys, if you're in Sydney, Australia, you could dial up a dealer, right? What it's kind not of dealer? Me. What are you talking about? I don't know the story, <laughs> but <laughs> hey, hey, hey. but it's, hey, hey. it says in number is in the notepad. It says hey, we hey. have to talk about dial up a dealer. All right, dial up a dealer. Really? That's legit. That sounds like something the police set up. <laughs> That is true. I would not do that. See, I wasn't even putting two and two together. Bro, I'm so, thinking ahead here, you know? Tell me about that, the dial up the dealer. So, was that in the news? <laughs> dial up the so dealer. Dial a dealer. Dial a dealer. Mm-hmm. Okay. Um, yeah, so it was in the news and it was a uh, dealer and his name was literally dial a dealer. What a G. So he's, he's like, I'm he's a market. arrested, yeah. Oh, you got arrested? In Sydney. Makes sense. Yeah. Oh, man. <laughs> let, me, let me double check, but yeah, I'm pretty sure that Makes he sense. got... Sydney's popping, bro. bro. Everything's going on in Sydney, yo. Chilling it, it's killing it. We might have to get down Dial there. Dial up a <laughs> <laughs> We might have to get down there. It's killing it, too. Yeah, with a payphone. Yeah. <laughs> Dialing some shit, you know? So the cops is definitely behind that. Come cops. on, B. You hey. should not be... Come on, B. <laughs> Come Let's on, be. B. I have to thought about it. I have yeah, to yeah. think about it. Like, yeah. son... We're in an era right now where everything is traced. Why would you do that? Why would you Why? Do that? That's easy. That's easy target. Don't even advertise it on Snapchat no more. We need to find a new app. <laughs> I want to meet him, app. though. I want to meet that guy and yeah. see what he was thinking. You could just go to the correctional facility and go meet that <laughs> That's dude. I could do that. I might have to Make take an a appointment. Trip. Make an appointment. Take a trip. <laughs> dude. Yeah, so according to Nine News, police charge director of Dial a Dealer Drug Syndicate in Sydney. Oh. Mm. Yeah. I would charge him too if I saw in the yellow pages. <laughs> nah, <laughs> the deal, nah. I a couple, couple of, you know yeah, what I mean? No, I would call him up and be like, dude, get off What this. you got? Yeah. yeah, no, I'll be like, yo, give me your other phone number. <laughs> you know what I mean? Not this one that's attached to the police. That's attached he to wouldn't me. even know. Yeah, Man, he's probably got an ABN. Thought he was going to set himself up like legitimate. That's true. Would he <laughs> set like, up an ABN? Ta- he's like, I'll pay taxes he on He would have still set up an ABN. <laughs> It's a business move. Yeah, dude. He's like, you I'm already ahead. have the name. Like, you already have the title. <laughs> I'm, ahead. I'm ahead of the game. I'm ahead of the game. I know, oh, dude. shit. I was going to think of that. When he's giving receipts. Like that. He's giving yeah, invoices, receipts. bro. Yeah. yeah, dude. What's up, Candy? <laughs> <laughs> I can't believe this shit. Yo, it's insane. <laughs> oh, my God. Uh, yeah. He How many Slurpees it. do you think he had that day? That's oh, another thing. Yeah. What about Slurpees? Slurpees. Okay, so what? Can, can you break that down for us? That's Reagan, a perfect Slurpee. segment for for come on B. Come on B. Yeah, come, <laughs> come on, on B. Right. Slurpee edition. Yes. Okay. How many Slurpees did you used to have? I used to have Ooh. at least one a week. One, one, week. one a week. Mm. When you're living in Brisbane, you would have one maybe two a day. Oh, you got called out. Oh, <laughs> that is true. And that's back then. That was like five years ago. Yeah, that's Yo, true. Candy called you out. I so forgot quick. about that. Yeah, the one week. And I used to go ball, bro. I used to go on the basketball court and. 
just to lose yeah, it, bro. Really, just, like, keep on running. Sugar rushed up, boy. Yeah. What was your favorite color? Red. Red for sure, yeah. Red or or banana flavored. Banana. Yeah, they they used to have like uh, really? banana. They had like all sorts of lichee. You know, those all are sorts the flavors I would avoid, like the plague. Give me the red or blue. Because if you're going to drink sugar anyway, you might as well just pour it up with some random colors. Yeah, but red mean? is always cherry or some other yeah, way. I, I'm, I'm yeah, whatever. With cherry, you got to get adventurous, man. man. <laughs> no, man. You I stay in, my, stay in my line, man. Nah. So why is that? <laughs> okay, so the Sour Orange Mega has been exposed as the frozen drink on sale in Australia was the highest sugar content. It contained a whopping 49 teaspoons of sugar. 49 not, Are you kidding no, me? For grams. Teaspoons. So that's 195.5 grams. Wow. Only. That's a lot. Bro, 25 <laughs> yeah. grams is supposed to be your daily limit. According. That's a lot. I'm here giving them to the kids. Like, yeah, here, guys. Dude, we Go ahead. <laughs> Go ahead, lad. Bro. <laughs> Just it's literally, like it's like tipping back a child's throat and just pouring sugar down. It's sugar down. It's like, man. That's a lot. I've no had wonder. more than 25 grams of sugar a day. I a mean, day. we all I do. I mean, we all have. We all do. I love my chocolate. I literally, yeah. it's so hard to even stay within that balance. Don't get me wrong. Yeah, like, if you yeah, have, yeah. look, a Coke can, I looked up the other day, a Coke can, like just the can. Yeah, the can alone. Was like 40 something grams. Oh, in the shit. I have like almost I one like, a day. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, there you one go. It's like you're already done. You're done twice over, you know? So it's Fuck. it's craziness. Just trying, trying to avoid it, you know? It's. You're going to either be bored out of your mind trying to eat bland, tasteless shit, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. or you kind of just dive in and just get Die fat. off sugar. Why not? Oh, yep. yeah. Just diabetes on diabetes. You That's know? it. Insulin. <laughs> man, I don't know. With Slurpees, it's like an iconic Australian thing for us. No, that's everywhere, man. Everywhere? Everywhere. In America, okay. you have your 7-Eleven. Do they have the- um? The, we have like, it in the Simpsons, your, man. The bring your thing, the bring your cup to- Of course. We don't even need that in America. Oh, shit. Our cups is too big. You don't need to go back. <laughs> Over here, you need three, four cups, baby. <laughs> no, you go there, you good to go. That's Bro, it. I had a friend, he would look up the 7-Elevens that were doing it on the day and show up. He would drive there like 20 minutes. show up with buckets. Yeah. Yeah, and I know, like, I know dude, I used to do that. Bro, imagine just the sugar content. <laughs> you have it for a whole year. Man, you just Boost putting up. your body through it, yo. Mm-hmm. We know more now. We know. Mm. Ladies and gentlemen, my name is Tony Remy. My name is Tom Story. That's it. <laughs>